Hello guys, what's going on? In this video, we are going to talk about four online tools that every JS developer should know about. Uh, usually, when I'm developing web mapping application, web JS application, I find myself in a situation whereby I need to quickly, for example, say download data from OSM very quickly, visualize this data, clean up this data quickly, style my base maps, generate new base maps, and usually I'm faced the challenge of generating fake fake data that i want to use to test my application that i'm developing call it use case data some sample data to do my web mapping and uh, i'm presenting to you today some of the tools that i found interesting some of them which i developed them personally and yeah i hope they will help someone so let's jump in so the first tool is called overpass turbo and basically overpass turbo is an interface that helps you to quickly download and filter data from osm so the first thing you'll want to do is to google overpass turbo this is the way to get this tool so if the first result should take you to this interface it looks something like this so uh this web client actually runs uh on top of the overpass api so if you just google overpass api it will give you the first result will give you the wikipedia today uh the wiki page to explaining what the overpass api is all about how you can make queries using this tool and yeah you can read more about it so that you can understand how the queries are actually run so but what we want to do is to use the wizard. It has a wizard that helps you to run the queries that you want to use to filter data from OpenStreetMap. So to quickly explain about the interface, on the left side is the pane whereby we input your overpass API queries. You follow this format that I explained here. So this is where you actually write the uh, queries that will be run on top of the overpass API. And on the right side, we have a map that defines the bounding box. So the current view is the bounding box of the data that uh, of where the data will be extracted. So let's say if you want, um, this is around Nairobi in Kenya. It's a world map. So you can zoom into any location. We have a geocoding uh, input here. You can type anything you want. So I'm just going to zoom to the region around Nairobi. Uh, let's say somewhere around here. And let's say I want to extract some highways around the residential areas in this place. So the way to do that uh, is to use OSM tags. So there's something called OSM tags. So if you just Google OSM tags, we'll be taken to the tags uh, which you can use to do your stuff. So uh, if I go to map features, these are the actual map features that the data in OSM has. So you use these tags to filter your data in the overpass turbo. So the way to get the, for example, the residential uh, highways around the roads, around these residential areas is to, uh, if you don't know how the, how the API queries looks like, just go ahead and use a tool that is provided by this uh, interface that is called the wizard. What the wizard does, it helps you to quickly generate uh, these queries. So the wizard generates the queries for you. You don't have to type anything here. So you just uh, use these tags. For example, let's say uh, we just copy this example. Let's say we want the highways around this area, but we want the ones with the tag called residential. So we just write residential. Again, you can read more about these tags here they are quite a number so if you scroll down they are quite a number we have the, the you can see the attributes that you can use to uh, filter the data even more but in this case we are going to use just this simple one so we are going to say build and run the query should wait for a few seconds and there we have our data so this is at the roads around this uh, bounding box where my map view was so if i zoom out you should see that there's no data outside this area that my my map was zoomed to. I actually have the residential roads around these areas. So for some reason, this were marked as highway because residential from OSM. So you can see in this um, query pane, 
um where the query appears this was generated by this wizard so yeah so you can put any query into this wizard or you can just go ahead and it, uh, reference the overpass api and then write your queries here so this is one way of getting data easily uh, from open map now the next case uh, is to visualize this data maybe on a better tool or clean up this data a little bit be able to play with the properties the attributes of this data so the first thing is to download this data uh, and the way to do that is to use the export tool so you just say export and you have a few options that you can choose from uh, the most common and um, the one that i usually use is the json format so i can say just download select where you want your data to be I just override the one that i had selected earlier and then love export your data export to export it someplace in your uh, in your folder structure of your uh, of your computer so yeah now once we have this data so this takes me to the next tool so the next tool that you want to use to visualize your data do some cleaning up do some uh, data fetching or data creation is called geojson.io so geojson.io is a tool developed by mapbox that helps you to quickly visualize um, your geojson data so i'm going uh, to go ahead and close those other tabs and then just type in geojson.io and it will open this interface in, uh, this time the map is on the left and the this other side it shows you the data that is currently in your map so let's go ahead and open the file that we had exported open it and if you remember these are the rows that we downloaded you can see the actual data uh, in geojson format you can see the if you know the geojson format standard you have the type feature collection and also if you want to see your data in uh, tabular format you just click on this other tab here and it will give you a, a table of that uh, of your data so another thing to note about your json.io is that you want to keep your data as simple and light as possible because otherwise will make your browser to hang you don't need to put some millions of features here so just keep it light visualizing a few editings and you'll be good yeah so another thing that you can use with uh json.io you can create you can actually create points so if you see this uh these tools here you just click maybe you say draw a marker and you can put it anywhere you can see it properties you can delete it you can draw or oh, you can edit features you can draw no oh, rectangles or oh, let's say you want to draw a rectangle you just click and drag yeah you can add as many as you want and another cool feature is that you can create random data so let's say you want some data around the globe quickly so that you can use it for testing so you just come to the meta make this meta tab and then uh, click on random points say we want to generate 100 points around the world so just say okay and if you zoom out a little bit or uh, just zoom out and you should be able to see the point so as you can notice there is no option to select the bounding box of where you want to put your data so i needed that feature so badly that i actually went ahead and created my own tool that enable you to select uh, a bounding box and then generate data based on that area and so this takes me to the other tool that I call your json random generator so a json random generator is a tool that i created as an extension or rather as it gives you advanced functionality to what i just explained so the way to reach that tool is to just uh, go to type in your json hyphen generator on your url uh, the the url tab and then says your json generator dot search dot sh so it's hosted on search for now it's a web client nothing fancy so this enables you to uh to create data by drawing an extent so as you can see this uh this is where you can give your configuration and this is the map interface so the first thing that you do is to 
define your bounding box so you go ahead and click draw extent and then you can um, click and drag and then you'll have your bounding box and then the other thing you can add properties to your data so let's say for example you wanted to generate some fake 200 points around this bounding box um, let's say 200 and let's say we are a marketing company and we want to know our customers or rather to map and simulate our customers around this region so let's say our customers have attributes like the name and the date you are able to acquire this customer so we are going to say add property uh, this tool is using faker.js faker.js is a tool that enables you to quickly generate fake data they say fake massive data on for your own usage testing purposes and this one is based on that tool it's not yet fully supported but a few features like uh, names and that so i'm going to show you an example let's say want the name of the customer so here we have the domain of the possible uh possible values possible domains of your data so we just say name and then we can choose the add uh, this adoption let's say the first name and then we can add another property let's say in this case one the date date of joining date of joining in this case is the date and we want to keep it recent so we just say generate and there you go you have your data you can click on any and then you can see the name and the date of joining in this format you want to format this so that you present it correctly in your javascript files uh, in your web map client so yeah that is it if this did not uh, you want to then generate again you just click generate and it will keep on shifting you can change the numbers let's say you want just 20 of them so you generate and there you go so you can download this data actually so um, let's say you want let's keep it at 100 so say generate and then download this data just call it the data and then yeah your data will be downloaded you can also go ahead and visualize this on your json.io so load it up yeah and there we go import it will tell it imported around 100 features so if i zoom into that region yeah so these are the points this the our bounding box was around this area so if you click you can see the name and the date of joining yeah and that's how you generate fake JSON data for your testing using this tool your json generator dot uh, search so actually this is on github so if you just say your json or uh, if you go to my github account mm, you'll be able to see this project there so see here your json random generator you can go ahead do requests pull request issues and i'll be uh, glad to address them so uh, the last tool that i want to talk about is called mapbox studio so uh, mapbox studio is basically a design tool developed by mapbox uh, that helps you to make styles for your maps you can call it the photoshop for maps <laughs> so this basically helps you to design your styles that you can uh, then use in your mapbox maps right so the way to get to mapbox studio if you just uh, search for just go and search for mapbox studio um, the first result of course you'll need an account with mapbox so if you don't have one just go right ahead and sign up uh yeah so i just go ahead and show you already have an account so mapbox studio it uh opens up a complete design tool allowing you to create beautiful custom maps to meet the needs of your users so as you can see from this description it's like a design tool that enables you to style your data the appearance of how your map is going to look like so let's get started and see what you can do with mapbox studio so uh these are some of my styles that i already have so i'm going to show you on how you can 
quickly style your uh, your base maps you can make styles with map box so we just start with the basic one this is the basic style so it will open up this design interface so once your map is fully loaded you'll want to zoom into your region of interest for example in this uh in this case i'm interested in the region around nairobi that's where i want to strike so let's say for some reason i want to change how my roads look by the way this data is obtained from open switch map so these are all the features they have obtained from open switch map they are carefully crafted by map box from uh, open switch map so uh uh, let's say for example I want to edit the roads around this region for some reason to be red So the way to do that I look for the feature that represents the roads in this layer So I just click on the roads and then I see this property of color uh, Class equal to switch. This is the uh, What is used to style it. So let, let's say I want them to be somehow red if I say that and then say you can see them changing here so yeah let's say i want them to be like that then you say down and um let's say we also want the labels the road labels so you just click road labels want them to be let's see the color uh want the road the road to be somewhere like they are green it's not the best design but it makes sense so it highlights what you can do so let's say you want to keep it like that you can change the font and all everything so once you are comfortable with your styling then you can go ahead and um, you can share this you can publish it so this this was the basic styling that we started with and this is the new and once you publish your style it will be uh, visible online so you can decide to make it private or public so in this case by just switching that switch like that so let's say uh, you can now share people can see your maps online you can see your base map so let's say i want to view what i did so this is the url so if i go to it yeah should be able to see that map loaded up so you can make this style and then you can share with your friends you can use this as your base map for other web maps yeah and there you are so there we are guys this is some of the four tools that you can use to help you in your gis development in your gis web maps uh pretty much when you are developing gis applications i find these tools pretty much important to me so i use them all the time and i also hope that they will be useful to you if you know any other tools please let me know in the comments so if you like this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe see you in the next one bye